Game Link Spalding. The collage as you come in the door is the door. Collage of all new games. I see nice photos on the wall. And this is one of my favourite areas, the chill out area. Look. You've got some retro magazines from Nintendo to 64 to Saturn, older ones as well, Mii Machines and things, to the modern gamers like the PlayStation magazines and Nintendo and Xbox magazines. Then you've got this nice leather sofa you can sit down and just have a read you know what other game shop offers that and we come over here and we've got the 20 p play arcade machine so at the moment it's demoing Pac-Man but we've got 60 classics on there Donkey Kong is a particular favourite in this shop we come over to here we've got a yeah, Nintendo 16 bit and 64 bit area so at the top you've uh, got some nice titles uh, just unboxed you can see nice ones like Yoshi's Island, all cheaper than their uh, respective eBay buy it now prices. Uh, all stars in the Mario world, and then we've got rows here of more Super, super Nintendo titles. Yeah, some of the random and stuff like Star Wing, and then we have the box items, box items like with Mortal Kombat, like things like Doom, like you know, Rise and Donkey Kong Countries. And another row here. It's a sealed one here. It's only Jimmy kind of tennis, but it's sealed nevertheless. Now we've got more SNES stuff, and then another row of Super Nintendo stuff. Reserving the bottom two rows for Nintendo 64. The, the higher of the rows being for the boxed N64 stuff, and the lower row being for just cartridges only. Under here is boxes of things we can't fit, so it's like the Saturn steering wheel, the Crystal Xbox, and an N64. And then we come around here, and next to it is the 8-bit NES era. So we've got all the nice 8-bit boxed uh, items here. We've got, we've got more stock than on the shelves, just can't fit it in at the moment. So, um, kind of right the way down, and you can see all the NES stuff. And then, at the bottom, you've got the scope for snares, Menacer for Mega Drive. And then up to the Game Gear stuff. Quite a few Game Gear games box really, considering you don't really come across them that often. And then we're up to miscellaneous stuff here. So we've got a Universal Game Converter box for SNES, Pokemon Pinball, a few Game Gear games, an arcade stick, a Starfighter pad, a wireless infrared remote for SNES, and a Guess Super Game Boy behind, a few loose DS games, and a VMU 32X game, Saturn, a Saturn pad. And then uh, some nice box things. That ASCII pad for Super Nintendo at the top there is still sealed as well. And then we come over to, which, which is quite a big section of Sega Mega Drive stuff. Some nice collection of items at the top. Adventures of Batman Robin, Battletoads, Pro Protector, Chester Cheetah, which is, you know, you hardly ever see it. I know it's Genesis, but you hardly ever see it. So I'll just go across here and show you all these. Juju, which is the Japanese Toki going 8 spit. Streets of Rage 2 is always a popular one. And then the ones. None of these are sports games. We've taken all the sports games out, so these are all separate titles, no duplicates, and that none of them are sport uh, are the uh, EA sports games. So you can see we've got quite a few there for Super Nintendo and a Street Smart. That's quite a rare one. And then we've got a Pro Action Replay for Super Nintendo there because it wouldn't fit at the top anymore. We've also got one of those for Sega Mega Drive and for Sega Master System. So we go lower, and we've got the Sega Saturn games. Nice ones like Blazing Dragons, X-Men Children of the Atom. And some of them are behind them because we can't quite fit them out. And then a lower. Just some of the run-of-the-mill titles. And still some good titles in there, like Virtual Hardwired. And then to the middle we've got some nice box consoles, the Mario All Stars box console, the Sega Saturn box console, that's in mint condition. Sega Mega Drive 2 Mega 6 pack which is in great condition inside, just a little sticker mark just there, but apart from that everything else is mint. And then the Time Crisis with the gun box. And my personal favourite now, the Sega Master System, at home I have every single Sega Master System PAL game ever made. So. Uh, it's one of my personal favourites and you've got a nice title at the top there, Fantasy Star and I'll go into detail on this one maybe another time but this is an Echo the Dolphin Aussie Soft 
as you can see, silver, not not black. So it's quite a rare item, the Aussie Soft. And then we go down, and again, these are all these are all um, single titles, no duplicates in alphabetical order. You can see we've got quite a few on the Master System as well, and you'll see quite a few of these boxes that we've got down here. This is how we box up our consoles, just with a little. Sega Master System and it tells you what game's built in, how many controllers and what games it comes with and that's £15 as you can see. Then we're coming on to our little modern modern thing here. We don't want to put the real cases out so we try and print off as many duplicate cases as we can for the newer games because we don't well, obviously for shoplifting but then once we can't find a case duplicate for uh, we've got this list here of all the new games that we've recently got in. And then down here is the start of our modern games, which is the PSPs and UMDs. Following on all the way down here, some more PSPs and UMDs. And then up to PS3 things. That's some nice titles up here. As you can see things like Arkham Asylum, that's uh, one of my favourite games of last year. Moving across to the Wii section, we've got a nice Mario Kart seal there. Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympics and the Normal Olympics. And we come down all the way to Mike's and down to the DS section at the bottom, it's quite a small DS section actually, we don't have many DS games and then we come across to the Xbox 360 stuff we've got quite a few of those oh, Street Fighter is one of our favourites, I'd love someone to come down and take me on uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good, I'm not the best in the world, by a long shot I get slaughtered online but, but in this shop I'm, I'm pretty much king and then we go to the top, which is a nice Halo display that I didn't notice what my wife did yesterday, but there's a guide, Halo 3, ODST, and a Halo Wars there. And then we come across here, which is nice. We've got all the games demoing, and it all any game in this shop can be tried before you buy it. So, the well, especially on, on the console setup that day. So we've got a SNES, and there's a Master System, and a, and a Mega Drive set up on here. And then we've got the, the box consoles, like I said, and the, the consoles are just sitting behind the boxes. So I have a pad there, anyone can just say, oh, can I try this game? I say, you know, no worries, of course you can try it before you buy it. You don't need to go away with something you don't like. So then we go for PS1 games here. Got some nice PS1 games in recently. Breath of Fire 3, Final Fantasy 7, Metal Gear. You know, I'm surprised by what stuff we're getting through the door, actually. And then PS2, we've got, we're getting too many PS2, really. We're about to take some off the shelves. But, um, yeah, quite a few PS2 over to original Xbox games. And Dreamcast at the top, which we don't um, get a few GameCube games, but we don't have a lot of Dreamcast quality titles really yet um, until we come. And here's Jason. Oh, here's Jason. I was just saying Jason will be here in a minute, and he's here. We have to do a 10 minute, 10 minute limit on YouTube, you do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what we're using? Eight minutes we've got. <laughs> we've done eight minutes. We've done eight minutes. Yeah. Oh, there's Jason. He's here. I've just been taking him a tour of the shop. And here we've got our uh, glass cabinet with our uh, more expensive items. He doesn't need shout outs yet. No shout outs as of yet. We will at the end of the video. So we're coming down and we can see Sh but Shenmue 1 and 2, a white PSP, a Sega Nomad and a Sega Multimega, not things you come across often, an Astro Wars and a Game Boy Player. Our counter has the Space Invaders on there. And then you might have seen the Pac-Man on the screen. And here's our uh, behind the counter area. And Jason, who would you like to shout out to at the end of this video? Uh, I'm embarrassed now, but uh, <laughs> I'd like to shout out Xbox 2708. He's been a big influence on me getting my Mega Drive collection back up. And I'd hope he'd like to come down one day. So, well, so you and me both, you and me both. I've never been on camera. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be back with another video soon. But that was just a, a quick tour of the shop. Uh, and just to start up our YouTube, our first ever YouTube video. So I hope some of you come down to Game Link and, and meet us. So, um, yeah, another video soon. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.